In Dumfrieshire, a nod to Scotland's bard is never far away, but enthusiasts and academics have long felt more could be made of his time here. Neighbouring Ayrshire normally brings in £121 million a year in tourism spend linked to Robert Burns, but here it's just a fifth of that. That's prompted a bold new approach, with local groups and businesses getting onto the same page. Well, this is the first time that the narrative of Burns and Dumfries has been told online in a really accessible way. Uh, you'll notice the graphics on the website are really funky and, and young, and it's maybe a different way of looking at Burns, but at the same time, so much information about the richness of the Burns legacy in and around uh, Dumfries, and linking it all up as well. As the area rebuilds from the pandemic, it's hoped new visitors will choose to see, touch and get close to Burns' surroundings, like here at Ellisland Farm, where he and his wife Jean built their first family home. Well, literary tourism has been identified as a, a growth market and that's why this EU scheme was putting money into literary tourism projects right across uh, Northern Europe. And we were lucky uh, through Wigton Festival Company uh, to get the money to, to do that. Uh, Ellisland led on it. But uh, if you can show that you have culturally important sites uh, associated with great writers, you can attract a lot of visitors, but you can also increase the cultural assets and the sense of well-being in your own community. It has great educational benefits because we don't think this site will just be used by tourists. We think it will be used by families in Dumfries and Dumfries and Galloway to have another look at what's here on their doorstep. One big goal for the project Footsteps of Burns is to show people the footpaths and walks that Burns used, just like this one that links his home at Ellisland to Friars Cars, where he would go to visit a close friend and to spend hours working on some of his most memorable works. You know, when people come to the area, I think there's an element of people that don't realise how much of, of a part Robbie Burns has played throughout the last three or four hundred years. Um, you know, within the area. So when they come here, they start to learn. He went up to the Hermitage, which is just a couple of hundred yards up here to my right, and he wrote a lot of his poems and songs, you know, and he's our next door neighbour. So, of course, you know, if anybody has to be part of it, it has to be Friars Cars. They're not the only ones. A host of opportunities to explore are on the new website, which goes live tomorrow. Bruce McKenzie, ITV News, at Ellisland Farm.